Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. We've got two brand new Team of the Seasons currently available in FIFA 21. We've got the Eredivisie and the CSL coming in. So that is 22 new cards. And with a brand new Team of the Season, that means one thing, a brand new objective. We've got the Ajax man, a Brazilian baller, Anthony. Yes then lads, we have been well and truly hooked up here. Anthony had a future star card earlier in the game and he was worth about 400, 500k for the longest time. And the fact that EA have blessed us by giving this guy potentially as a free card, all you've got to do is waste about an hour to two hours of your time to unlock him. That is a massive W in my eyes, but unfortunately you're probably going to have to play at least seven squad battle matches to get this card. To unlock him, we got a score of volley in three separate squad battle matches on professional. We got scored two goals in two separate games on world class. Assist with a cross in three separate squad bar matches on professional difficulty with at least five Eredivisie players. And then score in seven world class games with a player with four star skill moves. You can do this in rivals, but I would definitely recommend if you want to save as much time as possible, do it in squad battles because you're at least going to guarantee yourself the seven game maximum. Unless you're an absolute baller and you fancy your chances and reckon you could do this in seven games of rivals, then. Fair play. But that is the card, the face stats look awesome. Let's go check out his attributes and see if he is worth the grind. So our man is five for eight, high medium with four star skills and three star weak foot. So the weak foot's obviously on the low side, but I've noticed throughout the year that it doesn't affect cards too much, especially if they're finishing as top, top tier. And straight away, this guy's stats look absolutely mental. 99 acceleration and sprint speed, so that's beautiful. You can't get much better than that. With the marksman chem style, he goes up to 93 attack positioning, 97 finishing. 91 shot power, 97 long shots. The passing stats are great. The vision's there. The free kick accuracy is also nice. And the short pass is very good. Long pass a little bit on the low side, but we're going to play him as a cam in today's video. So hopefully you won't notice that too much. He's got decent free kick accuracy and decent curve, which is nice. That gives you a nice free kick outlet. Going over to the dribbling stats, we've got the two most important stats pretty much maxed out. 98 agility, 94 balance. The ball control and the dribbling max out to 99 with the marksman and the reactions go up to 91. His composure is only 89, but that is still very respectable for a player this, at this stage of the game. Stamina is good, 90, which means he can keep up with the pace of the game. The reason I've given him a marksman is mainly to boost the shooting stats and the strength. He goes up to 80 strength with 78 aggression, just to help him out a little bit so he doesn't get bullied too much on the ball. In regards to traits, we've got the flare trait, we've got the outside the foot shot trait, which are two pretty much my two favourite traits in game. Long shot taker, speed dribbler and technical dribbler are CPU AI traits. So the card looks absolutely insane. The attributes are top tier, the dynamic image is top tier and he's essentially free. It took me about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours roughly to get this card done. And I was AFK in squad battles. I'll play the first half, I'll score many goals as possible, put the controller down, go away, do whatever I need to do, come back to it and hope they don't outscore me. But that is the player guys, that is the attributes. Let's check out the team that this man's gonna be rocking with in today's video. Here we go, these are the boys. We've got the Brazilian trio up top. We've got his teammate and fellow Brazilian player, David Neres. I would have liked to kind of link these two up to get that hyperlink together, but we've got Coutinho in the middle, acting as that little linchpin linking these two together. The rest of the team, Kaka is here purely for chemistry. The man will be subbed out straight away. I just had to look at 612 matches. The goal to game ratio isn't actually that bad for the man, considering I've subbed him out with about 200 matches. In regards to custom tactics, we're playing press after possession loss. This is my go-to at the moment. Five width and seven depth. The formation is a 4-3-1 brackets two. Anthony is starting in that little pocket as the cam. We're going to try him out as a cam and a striker in today's video to truly test him, find out his best position. Obviously, as a right winger, he looks solid. But with a marksman, I think he turns to like a 92 or 93 overall cam. So I have high, high potential for the man. 4-3-1-2 is the formation. As I said, Coutinho Neres up top, Amiri Vieira and Kaka through the middle and the back four stays the same. Instructions, if you want to see this in more detail, let me know down below and I'll look to make a separate video based around it. But just to run through these quickly, I'm just gonna quickly skim through, pause if you want to copy uh, from me guys, because this formation is crazy. It's super attacking, super high press, and super good fun. So guys, we're gonna hop in some Div 1 gameplay. I'm 2200 skill total as it stands. This is gonna be super sweaty. We're gonna truly test out Anthony, see if he is worth the grind. And I compile all the clips into a little montage and I'll catch up with you afterwards.
Yes, now four goals in two matches for Mr. Anthony Mateus de Santos. That was, that's pretty impressive, actually. I feel like uh, Anthony is a very nice name to pronounce, by the way. Can we have more cards like this? The previous objectives, I have struggled big time. My girlfriend pointed out to me earlier. So Anthony is uh, it's a nice name. I can actually say it without butchering it. But first impressions, man, this guy, as expected, is absolutely rapid. He's lightning quick. Potentially could be one of the quickest players I've used in game. It's just insanely fast. Even with the ball at his feet, it's almost like he's too quick for his own good. Some of the touches he was taking were just too quick for himself. He was kind of getting ahead of the ball. It was uh, a bit interesting to see. I'm not used to playing with cards that have this much pace and insane dribbling stats. I actually haven't used Neymar on this game, by the way. So people have been comparing him to Neymar on Twitter, but I can't really relate to it because I've not used the card. But they're very similar in stats. Finishing wise, solid four goals in two matches. Both those games were super sweaty, by the way. That first one, man, he was toxic. And then I think we played a five back in the second game, but it was all over the place. Like we had players flying up the pitch, where nobody had defenders. It was absolute mayhem, but we came away with a W, which you love to see. The Brazilian boys, super good fun using Anthony, Neres, Coutinho, and even Kaka. You know, he was on the pitch for about five minutes every game, but you know, every five minutes counts. So finishing gets a massive tick, especially with the marksman boost. And if you are gonna get this guy, make sure you give him the marksman, guys, because you do jack up the finishing massively and the dribbling and the strength. He did get bullied a little bit. Occasionally, he may have got knocked off the ball here or there, but he's that quick that when he does get intercepted, he can get back and get a tackle in straight away. It's crazy. I've not seen many cards like this. Even if you're gonna get this man as a super sub, just 100% do it. So overall rating, considering it is a free card, it is a massive W from EA. We're getting a nine out of 10 for Mr. Anthony. It's well deserved, honestly. I'm not sure what his best position is. He played better for a striker for me. However, maybe as a right midfielder in a 4-4-2 is probably where he could be best suited. Cutting in on that left foot really made the use of the freestyle weak foot. Four-star skills is nice. Obviously, I would have preferred five-star like David Neres. If they had given him five-star, four-star, man, this card would have been incredible. But it is a free card, so we take the Ws when we can get them. Make sure to let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of the Eredivisie and the CSL team of the season. Are there any cards you want me to check out? Do let me know down below. But I hope you enjoyed this one, boys. My name's been Morsi. If you're new around here, please do consider dropping me a subscription. I'm pushing to 2,000, hopefully, before the end of FIFA 22. We're being ambitious, but we're full sending it and we're going for it. Drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know how you were doing, and I'll catch you soon for another video. Take it easy.